Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Spark. This is going to be a quick one where we'll list databases and tables in Spark. For this demo, I'm going to use PySpark, but everything that we try here would work roughly the same way in Spark Shell as well, except for the differences in Python syntax. So let's open up our PySpark Shell here. So this gives us access to our Spark session variable, as you can see here. Now let me just clear the screen and keep it fresh. So databases in Spark are how uh, tables get stored. So all the tables in Spark get stored as part of some database. To see all the available databases that are present in Spark, we would use the Spark Catalog API. Spark Catalog is the interface through which we can access the metadata that Spark SQL uses. So the way you get access to the Spark Catalog object is by doing the spark.catalog and that gives you catalog object. To list all the databases that are present in Spark SQL, we can just call the list databases function on Spark catalog. So that would look something like this. Now the first time we do this, it's going to take a bit of time because it has to set up the Spark warehouse that uh, runs all of this in the background. So it's going to take a bit of time, but all the subsequent operations are going to be quite fast. And as you see, it shows us there is one database by the name default and it also shows us the location URI where this database, uh, database's metadata is being stored. The default database is, well, as the name suggests, the default database that is going to be created when Spark, uh, Spark session is created. So this is where uh, all the tables are created if you don't specify any other database. Apart from this default database, there is also another database that Spark has internally, which is called global temp. So that is needed for all the global views. Uh, that doesn't come up when you do a list databases, but we will see how we can access that in just a bit. Now the default database is the current database. When you load up the Spark session, confirm that we can again call the current database function on Spark catalog object. And that will give you default, meaning that the default database is the current database. We can also do the same thing from the Spark SQL API. So we can call Spark SQL and say show databases. And that will give you the list of all the available databases. And in this case, it's just the default. Now let's see how we can list tables uh, in Spark. So list tables is a function that you call on the Spark catalog API. So if I just call list tables directly on the catalog API, we should see an empty list. Uh, that is because as you can expect, the Spark session has just come up and we haven't created any tables to begin with. And that's why it's an empty list. So let's go ahead and create a table. So I have this file uh, right here with me called shows.csv, which basically is a list of some of the TV shows that I really like. So it has the name, the release year, and the number of seasons uh, for which they've continued. So I'm going to create a view or a table from this particular CSV file. So the way I would do that is by creating a data frame first. And as you can see, we can do a show on that and we'll get entire data frame right here. Now I'm going to create a view named shows from this data frame. So the way I would do that is by calling create or replace temp view. So this created a view called shows in Spark SQL's metadata. Now, if I go back and run list tables, we should see this new table called shows created. So by default, we haven't given any database for this view to be created. So it gets created in the database default. But if you see in the table object that we got back, the database is listed as none. Now that is because the default database is more metaphorical. It doesn't actually exist. So even though the, the table got created in the default database, the actual table object uh, has the database value set to none. So that's why we see this as none here without being default. Again, we can do the same thing with the Spark SQL API also. Let me just clear the screen and we'll go back here. So we can do the same, say show tables from default, meaning we're asking it to give us the tables in the default database. 
and it should give us the table shows that we have just created. And again, as you can see, the database uh, column is shown as empty. Now we can also create global views, which is where our global temp database comes into picture. So to create a global view, I can just call create or replace global temp view. So I'm only creating temp views here because uh, I don't have any external backing store that I use for permanent view. And I'll give the same name shows here. Uh, notice the difference global temp view versus the temp view that we have just we've created before. So the name can be same as long as it's in a different database. We can see that the view got created. Now to see this table from the list, we can, while calling the list tables, we just have to give the database name global temp. Now when you give that, uh, we get our shows table that we have just created with the database global temp. But one thing you'll also show that there is an other table object, which was the one we have created earlier with the database none. Uh, when you do a list tables by giving any specific database, it shows all the tables in that database and also the tables in the default database or rather the tables with database set as none. So that's something you have to understand when you're doing a list table. Now again, you can do the same from Spark SQL API as well. So instead of saying from default, we can just say global temp and that will give us all the global tables. Again, as you can see, we get our shows from the global temp. So this is how you can list tables in Spark. Now let's just do a simple SQL query on the view that we have created. So let's say I run spark.sql and just say select star from shows. So when we say just shows, it's looking at the default database because we haven't prefixed, we haven't asked for any specific database. So when we run this query, we get this data set from the default database, this table right here. Now, if we want to perform a query on the global temp database, we just have to prefix the table name with the database name as follows. So we can just say global temp dot shows. That'll give you query run on the global table instead of the default table. And that's what you see. So that is how we can list databases and tables in Spark. So that's all for this video. Hope that was useful. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.